Hi guys, we're here at New Pearl's booth with Ross, who's going to tell us about all the new stuff. Hi there guys, yeah, so this year at the show we've uh, launched a few things. Um, obviously we've got our gas, everyone knows about our gas, I've been over our gas so many times. Um, do you want to go on to the stand and we can have a look at some of the gas? Of course. All right, let's move then, come on. We had Nuke Pearl 2, was, um, it's a, a premium green gas. We released it a few years ago now and it's basically just a very powerful, very consistent green gas for use in sort of temperatures 15 degrees C, that kind of thing. Um, it did so well that we, we went on and developed Nuke Pearl 3. Now Nuke Pearl 3 um, is special because it, it sort of performs as good as Nuke Pearl 2 but at low temperatures. Um, and it, it's tested, it works, people know it works now so we're sort of at that stage where I don't have to keep saying oh it does it people know people use it people love it nuke pro 4 um, this is my personal favorite we developed this to be used specifically with gas blowback rifle platforms or things that need to move a heavy bolt you know that kind of thing we wanted consistency um, with you know you can't really get consistency out of a gas blowback rifle because of the heavy bolt and it, it doesn't empty a mag and nuke pro 4 is the the solution to that um, tried and tested again Really, really good stuff. Gives you a nice kick in the shoulder when you're using your gas power back rifles. I don't recommend people use it in pistols, but I know whatever I say, they will anyway. So I do it anyway. Exactly. See, though, I know. We just get that all the time. Um, obviously, uh, at this show this year, we've launched a few things. Obviously, the PMC, the um, Personal Military Clothing right, range, that's over here. Um, the idea behind that was we were just going to develop sort of one plate carrier to start and then loads of pouches that people would use and then we'd move off of that. And the idea behind it is that you either get really expensive real world kit that just sets people back a lot of money or you get imported nylon kit and that doesn't really do it justice either. So we wanted to sort of come in in the middle for airsofters. So this kit's developed for people to play airsoft with. Um, it's good quality. Um, people are really raving about it who are using it already. We've got a wide array of pouches. Um, anything you could really want, we've either done or are, are working on for the system. We've got belts, we've got harnesses, bags, day sacks, everything. I mean, we, we all travel with the day bags and they're great. Um, and uh, yeah, that's really the PMC range. Obviously, we're making a push at the show about it. I'm sure people will see it around. We're working on, uh, we're releasing basically just uh, magazines for like um, just AEGs. And um, we've developed mid caps, high caps and flash mags for most different styles of gun. So all your different ones from M4s, AKs. Um, we've only just relaunched the AK flash mag and then all the M4s, but we're following up with quite a few new ones. Um, this is one of my personal favorite magazines because not only is it 140 round mid cap, which is quite useful because you get like 20 extra rounds on most. Um, on the, you can actually take, uh, it says there, but on, you take out the bottom screw and it's like a cartridge inside. You remove the cartridge and you can change it to 30 rounds. So it becomes a low cap. So it's a mid cap and a low cap all in one magazine, um, which is pretty cool. Pricing's very competitive. People aren't going to have to pay a lot more for it because it's Nuke Pro or because it has this stuff, which is cool. Um, does it does it fit to, to fit too many replicas? Yeah, we tested them in quite a few. Um, all the big brands you try, you know, you can never get 100%. You can't say 100%. I think you would struggle to find one it doesn't work in. Um, but I mean, we're tried and tested. We did test them. They've they've been through most brands that people would be using. I talk about this because um, people, every time we go to a show, people come and tell us, oh, you know, your anti-fog is really cool. And this clear view, um, it's just an anti-fog. So you basically spray on your lenses, front and back, leave it for a couple of seconds, get a microfiber cloth, remove it, and uh, you're pretty much good to go for the rest of the day without any fogging up, which is kind of cool. We had just launched this, uh, all of our new rails. We've got a series one, two, and three. Um, people will recognise the rails. Um, we're releasing a few more in the, over the next year. They, they're available in bronze and black. But with some of the rails, it's difficult for mounting. People, they can't use the barrel nut. It doesn't fit, it's too loose. So we actually developed two separate barrel nuts. So in any gun that you need a barrel nut, the, um, the rail will come with two. One that will definitely fit gas blowback, one that will definitely fit AEG. And if one doesn't work, try the other one. So we're trying to go for 100% sort of fitment. So here we've got um, obviously the new pole holster range, uh, we called it the perfect fit because what we did was obviously many replicas in the airsoft industry, they're not actually exact dimensions of real steel weapons. Um, Especially G series. Exactly. Now the problem you have with that is that obviously it's either too loose or it's too tight and you don't want to drop your stuff or it's, it's, not, it's not great. So what we did is we went and developed the moulds for specific airsoft replicas of all the different models. Um, and th they've been out now for a year. People love them. They're tried and tested. Um, 
but we've just released this week at the show one for a high capper, which is kind of cool because there's never really been a, a plastic molded holster solution for a high capper. These fit high capper 3.8s, 5s, 4s. They fit a lot of the WE E4 series, you know, the custom ones. The only ones they don't fit are the ones with the big, you know, the big meat mashers on the front. It's just not possible to, to get that to work. But um, yeah, they're, I'm, I'm really excited about them. Finally, we can have high cappers that are, you know, I'm getting also excited because I own one high kappa. Maybe you have some free samples. Well, maybe, yeah. I, well, I don't see why not. Come and see me on Monday, and maybe one of them can vanish. But now I've just said vanish. That on the camera, so it's not gonna. We're gonna cut it off. No, yeah, we won't. Yeah, no, we won't. No, we won't. I will just quickly show you this because um, we actually launched a few months ago. We launched a, a range of upgrade parts, um, and what it was is they were. We've sort of we've got quite a lot bit of technical knowledge uh, in the brand and. Um, we used to, I mean, I personally used to build gearboxes, so did some of my colleagues, and uh, we just wanted to try and bring a good quality upgrade part uh, range, um, and obviously our motors as well. We've got our high torque and high speed motors, um, which are quite a good addition to the, to the upgrade part range. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, mate. I'm Thank sure you. we're going to see each other oh, next year. Absolutely. Thank you very much, guys. Cheers.